In this Pactora tutorial, I'll show you how to use this tool for packaging design. If you are someone who's into packaging design, this is a must-have tool in your design stack. The best part about this tool is that it provides all the features required for packaging designs under one roof, so you don't have to manually switch between different tools and software. First things first, visit the official Pactora website. I will link it in the description for easy access and any extra benefits if available. Also, I will be sharing a promo code or coupon code at the end of this video that will help you get a discount on the pricing plans, so make sure you watch this complete video. After you are on the official website, you will need to create an account. Click on Login on the top right corner. You can create your account either with Google, Facebook, or with your email. After you have created an account, you will be able to access your workspace. Just click on Workspace. It will look like this, where all the previous designs you have worked on are displayed. You can categorize them between mockups, 3D designs, die line files, or even AI background files. To start creating a mockup file, you can just click on Add a new mockup file, or you can go to the home page and select Mockup Generator. Click on it, and it will display all the mockups available in their library. On the left side, all the mockups are categorized, and there are even subcategories for each. For example, under Boxes, you'll find subcategories for different types of boxes. If you're looking for a specific mockup that you're not able to find in the categories or templates, you can simply type what you're looking for in the search bar. For example, let me select a square box. There are almost 60 square box mockups available. I'll select the third mockup, and it will start building the environment for us to work on. You'll have to wait a moment. As you can see, this is a square box mockup. On the left side, you have the Select tool and the Hand tool. If you click on the Select tool, you'll be able to rotate your mockup 360 degrees. If you select the Hand tool, you can move the mockup around in the environment. At the bottom, you can zoom in or out using the buttons or by scrolling your mouse. Then you have the Open and Close animation option. You can drag it to automatically open or close the box. There's also a camera bookmark and a dimension tool. If you want to take a screenshot of a particular scene, just click on Screenshot and the image will be saved to your PC, as you can see. On the left side, the main options include Upload Images. If you already have a design to appear on your mockup, click on Upload and you can add an image from your PC. I don't have a specific design right now, so I'll just select a random image. Your image will appear on your mockup and you can place it however you want. On the right side, you can view how your mockup looks, including open and close animations for a better preview. You can also choose whether the design should appear on the outside or inside. Since it doesn't look good for now, I'll delete the image. You can also change the colors of your mockup. For example, selecting outside and choosing red will apply red to the outer box. If you select inside and choose another color, like blue, that will apply to the inside. In this way, you can easily apply solid colors to your mockup. Once satisfied, simply click on Save. The View option lets you check or uncheck various elements like dimension lines, material, bleed line, and others. There's also a rotation option to rotate your mockup and controls to zoom in or out. You'll also find Undo, Redo, Select Tool, and Hand Tool at the bottom. If you don't have a custom-built design, you can still add elements. For example, click to add a square shape and it will be placed on your design. You can add any shape in a similar manner and even use various symbols. There's also an Inspiration tab where you can explore patterns and designs. If you want to add one, just click on it and it will be applied successfully. This pattern has been added to the box from the inside, so if I select Outside and choose a different pattern, as you can see, the pattern has been applied to our mockup, and if I play it in 3D, the mockup looks cool. Once you are satisfied with your design, you can simply click on Save and it will take us back to the environment after saving it. As you can see, this is the design that we created. If you want to create a custom design on your own, either in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, you can use the same dimensions. Simply click on Download Die Line and you'll have an option to download the die line either in Adobe Illustrator format or PDF format. When I click on Download, the die line will be automatically downloaded, and now you can edit it in any of the software you work with. It will take some time to download. As you can see, our PDF has been downloaded. If I open it, this is our mock-up, and you can see different details here like dimensions and other specifications which you can easily edit in your photo editing software. Or, if you want to edit it in Adobe Illustrator, you can download it in the AI format. Then we have the custom size feature, where you can customize the size of your box according to your needs. The size is either in millimeters or inches, and you can easily switch between them here. Next, we have the Models section. If you don't want this particular mock-up, you can easily select different mock-ups from here without manually going back and selecting a new one every time. Next, we have the AI Design feature. If you want a few inspirations for your mock-ups, you can just give a particular prompt and the AI will generate your mock-up. Let me give a prompt and select the mock-up from here. 
select the original box, choose the ratio, and click on Generate. Now the AI will start generating a mock-up design for us. In the meantime, let us explore the background option. Here you can select different backgrounds for your mock-ups. There are multiple gradients available, and you can customize further by selecting the start and end colors. You can choose between linear or radial gradients, and you also have angle customization options. If you want to add a solid color, you can do that easily from this option. If you want to create a custom background using AI, click on Create a Background, and a background will be generated using AI. Even if you have an image on your PC, you can upload it, and that background will be applied to your mock-up. Next, we have the Videos option. If you want to animate your mock-up in a certain video style, multiple styles are available. Let's say I select one, and the animation will be created for our mock-up in that style, and you'll be able to download it easily. So this was all about the mock-up section. As you can see, the design we created earlier can be previewed from here. You can even download it, use it as a reference, or use the prompt to create other inspirations. Here, you can also see different box designs that I've created earlier. These were all the features of the mock-up generator. To download the mock-up you've created, simply click on the Super Export button on the top right corner. Here, you can download the mock-up in either PNG or JPEG format. You can even select the quality, 2K, 4K, and 8K, and choose the aspect ratio. Once you've selected the format and quality, simply render and export your image. Next, we have the die line export. If you want to export the die line for this mock-up, go to this option, select the specific die line format, and click on Export Now, and your file will be downloaded. Then we have the video option. Similar to the image, you can select the aspect ratio of your design here and choose from different video styles. You also have various formats to download your video, such as MP4 and MOV. You can select the resolution, 720p, 1080p, or 2K, and click on Export Now to download the video. The video will be exported easily. If you want to place this mock-up file on a particular website, you can even generate an HTML code from here. Finally, there is the share option. If you want to share it with your clients or your team, you can simply copy the link and share it with them. These are the export options available for mockups. You can select any one of them according to your needs. Now coming to the next feature they have, this is the 3D modeling software. You can directly click on it and a 3D modeling interface will appear in front of you. So I click on Start 3D Modeling. As you can see, this is our environment and here you can select any model you can even edit the previous mock-up that we created in 3D. If I click on 3D Design on the top right corner, it will start opening our mock-up in a 3D environment. We'll have to wait for some time. So this is the mock-up in 3D. You can simply click on it, and here you have different axes to control your 3D design. I can select here and move it on top or bottom. You can even resize it or rotate it based on different options that we have. If I want to simply take this to the ground level, I can just click on this drop absorption. If I want to create a duplicate, you have the duplicate option, and a duplicate will be created for your mock-up. As you can see, we have two boxes, and then we have the delete option. If I want to simply delete a particular mock-up, I will just select it and click on delete, and that particular box will be deleted. Similar to the mock-up option, we also have the close and open animation over here. On the left side, we have all those options similar to mock-up. The main feature here is the scenes, where you can create different scenes for your mockups. Suppose I select the second scene, the box will be placed in a similar scene. As you can see, you can switch between scenes easily from here, and you will be able to export your mockups in those scenes. This is the second scene that we have created. There are many scenes available. You can select any one of these, and there are even a few advanced scenes that you can use. Next, we have the models. If you'd like to switch between different mockups, you can easily do it from here. Then we have the elements. Here you have different elements such as cube, cylinder, or sphere that you can add in your 3D environment. Let's say I'll add a sphere. As you can see, a sphere has been added, and you can make changes to this according to your requirements. If you don't want it, simply select the sphere and click on delete, and it will be deleted. You can add multiple elements. You even have 3D rendered other elements such as fruits, decoration, tableware, shelves, and many others. You can even search if you need one. Then we have the background option. Similar to mock-up, you can simply change the background colors from gradient, or you can upload your own image. Coming to the lighting part, here you can select lighting for your 3D rendered designs from daylight to silky moonlight. You can select any one of these. You even have the advanced options where you can select between brightness, angle, and height. So these were all the features for the 3D modeling software. If you're satisfied with your design, you can simply click on the Super Render option on the top right corner, and you can download your mock-up in any angle or direction. You can select your format and quality, and simply click on Render and Export, and your image will be easily downloaded in that format. So as you can see, exporting is in progress. We'll have to wait for some time until the export gets completed. 
our 3D rendered file has been easily downloaded and it's very high quality. The next feature that we have is the Dial-In Template Maker. You can just select this option and similar to the mock-up, different dial lines will be displayed that are available in the library. You can select any one of these and here you even have the categorization in different models. Let's say I select a gift box. Multiple gift boxes will be displayed. I'll select the second one and it will take some time to load and add a die line. This is the die line for the box. On the left side, you see open and close animation and here are different file formats in whichever you want to download your die line. There are basically four formats. You can select any one of these and download your file easily. On the bottom, you have the hand tool and select tool and even zoom in or zoom out. If you'd like to change the colors, as you can see, the blade is displayed in green, trim in dark blue, and the crease is displayed in red. If you'd like to change the colors, you have that option here in the bottom. And you can even enable or disable the dimensions options according to your needs. On the top right, we can see the dimensions of our die line or mock-up. If I go to the models, you can select different models. Then we have the basic settings where you can switch between millimeter or inches according to your needs. You can also customize the dimensions according to your needs. As you can see, I changed the width from 60 millimeters to 50 millimeters, and it takes a little time to load. The dimension has been easily changed. You can also change the material of your design and you have different size modes. If you want more information, just click on the icon and you will see detailed information. Then we have the advanced feature, which is only available in the business plan. These are all the features of the dial-in. Once you've made all the changes, simply click on download the mock-up image and it will be downloaded in the file format that you selected. Then you can make your design and finally use it. These were the three main features. They also have a new feature called the AI background. You can just select create AI background and here you'll be able to upload your mockup and create a background for it. Let's say I go back to the earlier mockup that we created. Even here you can create an AI background. You just need to select create AI background and wait for some time. It will take us to the same environment. Here our image will start loading. As you can see, this is our mock-up where you can customize the size according to your needs. Then we have the aspect ratio. You can select different aspect ratios depending on the social media platform you will be uploading it on. Then we have the number of images. You can select between two and four. Then we have the templates. You can even give a custom prompt to describe your template. If you have a custom image on your PC, you can easily upload it from here. For now, let's say I select a template from the library. I want minimalism, so I will just select it and click on generate. Now it will start generating a minimalistic background for our mock-up. We'll have to wait for some time until the AI does its thing. As you can see, a minimalistic background has been generated for our mock-up. There are two results and both of them look similar since it was a minimalistic design. If you're satisfied with it, simply click on the export button, select your quality and export. If you want to try out other templates, feel free to do so. These were all the features available in Pacdora. Although you can use some features for free, most of them are part of the paid plan, so you will have to buy one. To purchase a paid plan, just go to the main page and click on the pricing section. Here you will see the plans they offer. You can either select from monthly or yearly. If you select the yearly plan, you'll get an extra 43% discount. If you select monthly, the light plan will cost you $14 per month, $29 per month for the pro plan, and $99 per month for the business plan. Here you can see all the features each plan offers, such as removing all watermarks, 2K rendered images, 720p videos, and 2K AI background images. You will get 1,000 AI credits monthly for the light plan, 3,000 for the pro plan, and 10,000 for the business plan. Each plan offers different features, and you can refer to them below each pricing plan. I always recommend going with the yearly plan since it offers an extra discount. Once you've decided which plan to purchase, simply click on Buy or Upgrade, it will take you to a checkout page. On the left side, you'll see an option to add a promotion code. Just enter a code like tech and click on apply. As you can see, you got a 20% discount on the business plan. Now on the right side, select your payment option, enter your details and complete the payment process. That was all about Pactora. If this video has been helpful, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.